our country is going to hell and they come after Donald Trump. Yes, they do. Donald Trump put up that video in reaction to the indictments coming out up. And I don't think that they had planned much for it, despite the fact that we knew that charges might be coming for some time. And I say that for a couple of reasons. One, they put him directly below, I think, the sun. I think like the sun was a foot above his head, because that's not a good look for a guy with hair like that. Uh, also, because it's like a four minute video and you might be wondering, why did you only put up like seven seconds of it? Because none of the rest of it was remotely interesting. None of it really had anything to do with the charges whatsoever. It was boring, just boilerplate Trump stuff. And then the final reason that I don't think they planned for it was pointed out by uh, Keith Olbermann on Twitter. Take a look at this screen grab. If you're gonna have him stand in front of a painting, don't have the guy being accused of crime stand in front of the old timey gentleman who is twirling his mustache. <laughs> that seems like a weird choice. But anyway, he did bleat more that I think might be relevant. But first, what do you think about this? He's the first ever former president to be charged with crimes and his first official communication is just buffoonish, Brett. Yeah, I spent a lot of time last night trying to figure out what that painting was, either <laughs> by like, you know, opening and like oh taking screenshots God. to reverse image search about. Uh, that was one thing I did. Then I used Photoshop AI to try to fill in the blanks, getting I rid of him. I knew you were gonna do that, by the way. And I couldn't, I, it looked like this was the rest of the photo. I Googled like Chester A. Arthur <laughs> and like uh, William Howard Taft, cause that's kind of vaguely who it looks like twirling their mustache. Also, it looks like the guy's making that like white, power finger wiggle thing, but they just love, you know, they're like hand gesture, whatever stupidity. But it's just cartoonish and it's it's so boring at this point. It's mind numbing and it's boring. It's like the later seasons of heroes. It's Aww. just junk, it's just shark jumping nonsense where they realize they set the tone that it needs to get exponentially more ridiculous over time. And at this point, we're approaching the limit of infinity where I just <laughs> can no longer notice the difference between today and tomorrow cuz it's just the same amount of incredibly infinitely dumb in terms of dumbness yes i i do think that weeks like this are important because investigations of trump new details about the investigations those sorts of things can start to blend together over time because there've been so many but him actually being indicted and again we're not quite to tuesday those things stand out we're probably only going to have four to six of those in our life. So we should appreciate each one when it comes. This is only the second. But anyway, as I said, Donald Trump, um, once he had gotten out from under the heat lamp, I think that he was standing under, he did have some things to say in his defense. And he was able to collect himself and resume some gravitas by bleeding in all caps. I am an innocent man. The Biden administration is totally corrupt. This is election interference and a continuation of the greatest witch out of all time. Make America great again. Okay, he can claim that he's innocent. There is a presumption of innocence still, I guess, after all this time and all these allegations, I guess he can do that. Um, in terms of it being Biden, we're gonna talk more later on. That, that That's really the big narrative here is this is just Biden doing this. But I will remind you, it's a grand jury that apparently approved these indictments. He's going to have a trial. He will have to convince them, or, or I would say the opposition will have to convince them that he committed these crimes. It's not like Biden can just like twirl his mustache and then like Trump goes off to Siberia. So again, I don't know how it is. It will likely be a successful strategy in terms of getting many right wingers to continue to ignore how serious this is. But beyond that, I don't particularly care. Once he gets into more specifics about why you shouldn't care and why Biden arguably has done worse things, it gets once again, I apologize, Brett, but to very dumb territory. When he says the corrupt Biden administration has informed my attorneys that I have been indicted seemingly over the boxes hoax. 
Nobody calls that except him. Even though Joe Biden has 1,850 boxes at the University of Delaware, more boxes in Chinatown, more at the University of Pennsylvania, and documents strewn all over his garbage floor where he parks his Corvette, and which is secured by only a, garb, a garage door that is paper thin and open much of the time. I get that he wants to add details to his BS made up story to make it sound more authentic. But how the hell would he know any of that stuff? How does he know how thick the garage door is? That it's open? Is he sitting across the street from Biden's house? And 1850 boxes, Brett, that is just the most absurd random number that he made up. I think he searched like boxes rebellion and he just came up with like 18. I don't know. Um, <laughs> happened. So anyways, yeah, it's uh, I love that image, John, of Trump on a stakeout with a tump, tub of melted <laughs> ice cream and a soup ladle just being like, he's coming. Oh, here comes the garage door. It's opening. It's I have literally open. nothing else to do with my time. Um, it's yeah, I I feel like. The the other detail is that's my favorite is the Corvette part, <laughs> because for people I th- I'm not sure about Trump, but for the thoroughly rich, telling you know bringing up that someone drives a Corvette is your way of calling someone tacky. Yeah. But to most of America, when you hear that a dude drives a Corvette, you're like, awesome, that's boss, bro. <laughs> yeah, Trump would have no interest in a Corvette or really any type of like sports car or anything like that because he's never going to drive like he's that level of like disconnected been wealthy for 50 years that he I like has he driven a car in the last like 3 years like honestly I don't even know it's such a weird thing to attack ever him and I, by he, the way he's a New I, York he's a New York trust true. fund baby he's yeah, never that. driven a car in his life yeah yeah um, and I'll say what I've always said. I know that they they consider this to be like a, a devastating counterpoint. Like Biden might have done it too. Now, no, there's no evidence that Biden has done many of these things that Trump is being alleged to have done. But if he did, then there should be charges against him yeah. too. I don't know why that's considered so devastating. Like you're gonna scare us into submission. Well, yeah, I do want my elites to be able to get away with crime. So I guess yours can too. No, no. Send thank both you to jail. They thank you for reminding me. Yeah, thanks for reminding me that I'm for the rule of law and you are not. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.